Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are talking about Azure Data Factory in detail. In today's video, we are going to talk about Azure Data Factory data sets. So in our previous video, we have talked about the link services, which gives an answer for the questions like how to connect to the source and the target data types, and then where are those data types? So where and how are the questions which are being answered with the help of link services now in today's data set demonstration we will have an answer for the question what is my data type looks like which is the schema or the data structure which am i which i'm supposed to deal with my data factory setup so if i click here on the launch data factory studio this will launch a data factory in another tab and it will look something like this you can click here on the author section that will have the all the data factory resources such as pipeline data set queries data flow and all now data think a data set as in the data set which you might have used in your ad.net program if you are a .net developer when we used to use the ad.net connection you we have an option we used to have an option to configure the data set where you onboard or import an schema of a table and then you provide a connection string to the schema and then with the adio.net library you call the fill method or you push or insert method to insert or fill the table record on that data set so similarly here in the data set you can specify the data schema or data structure of the data which you are supposed to deal now to create a new you can see that here in the data set i already have two data set which is of type azure blob storage how do i know that with, whether it is of type blob storage it is you you can identify that with the help of type of connection this data set is going to be used for an example in this case it is supposed to use the link services which is of type azure blob storage hence this blob storage or the data set is using uh, of type blob storage right now to create new data set you can click on this three dot and click on this create new or new data set option and that will give you an option to basically specify the new data set for your data pipeline or data factory so let me just simply click here on this option azure data blob storage because that's the resource type i have it on my azure subscriptions next when you select a specific data type which is blob storage in this case with the blob storage these are the different type of files which you can deal with it binary file which means that any file which is available on that blob storage you can use this option now if you would like to target a specific file type such as the csv excel json xml even you can specify the file type with this configuration so let me just click on this binary file type for the demonstration so that i can specify or i can target any file type next you have to provide the name to your data set and for the naming convention i use the prefix as in ds which is for which is stand for data set underscore and you have to name, give it a name as a demo data set that's an example name i have given next you have to provide the attachment or link or reference to your link service because you are going you are going your data set is supposed to import an schema or the structure of the file type which you are supposed to bring in or on board right so that is why the link services are important what is link service how it interacts that we have seen in the previous video in case if you have not watched that particular previous video link is available up there you can click on that so let me just specify the demo storage account and that will basically specify the connection detail for the storage account which is the target storage account we are looking for then i select the folder or the container name which i am looking to connect with as part of this data set so let me just click here you can see that the container name is already available here no directories no files so it will be able to connect to all the files or directories which are created inside this container that is what i'm saying as far as this particular data set now as soon as you create this data set you can see that the data set configurations are available here uh, which are 
link services you can anytime modify test or edit the configuration of your link services you can configure the container details and all those things as well how you want to uh, you know interact with the files which are available in this container that is also you can specify with the help of compression type which we will have a look at in the future demonstration now that's an example of the demo data set which is trying to target to a binary type of file let me try and create another data set which will target to a data a csv file for an example because we have seen that this is as this is targeting to a binary data set there is no schema attached to the binary data set because with the binary file it could be a jpg file it could be zip file it could be any type of file so there is no fixed schema for those binary file hence this data set does not specify or does not deal with any specific data schema now if you would like to have a demonstration about a schema which is being referred as your data set so let me have an example of csv file for example so again i'll use the azure blob storage as in data type here in this case i'm going to use this file format as in csv i'll use a continue and use the same link service next you have to specify the file path so that it can attach or import the schema of a file for that reason i am going to use or i am going to upload a csv file to this location now, just, now let me just connect to the file which we have just now uploaded so i'll click here on this uh, container option i'll select the container and then the file which we have uploaded which is this csv file as soon as you connect to this csv file the link service or the data set knows that as this is a csv file so it has given you an option do you want to use first row as an header so by default it is selected yes we want to keep it as an header now next option you have it import as an schema so it's going to use the schema configuration detail from the connection which is it will use the link service and the file which you have specified here to set the schema so let me just click here on the ok button and that will have the storage data set which is of type csv file you can see that it has now got as it is of type csv so it has got some additional properties such as the column delimiter type comma by default row delimiter file type new row encoding utf8 double quote character black slash row as first row as in this and then next tab you have got the schema as we have chosen the option to import the schema from the csv file so it has imported all the columns which are there which were there in the csv file as an schema so now any file which you will deal with it with this schema that file should have these columns to match in order to work with this data set apart from this uh, now you can see that this schema uh, now other thing to watch here is this schema column were, was not available with the other data site even though it was type of storage account it was connected with the storage link service same link service but as the file type was binary in that case so binary does not have any schema to specify because it can have any type of file like i mentioned hence the schema column is missing whereas in this case we are talking about this csv file which would have a specific structure of comma separated columns and rows values right so that based on that is structure your data set can define the schema and that is what it has done so that is why you have found this schema column here now one more thing we can do with this data set is we can have a preview of the data with this lens option and you can click on the preview data and that will launch a preview option by connecting to your csv file which is available in the story account and that will give you a load the actual data and give you a preview of it of the same right so let me just close that now that's so that is about the data set we have to see in the two different type of data set using the same link service how do we connect to these data set how do we use the schema of the data set use with an example we have seen the csv schema type right so i hope you have found useful and learned something about the data set 
and the link service together and will be able to answer how to connect to your target data set or how do you specify your schema of the data which you are dealing with within the data factory thanks for watching it if you like the video please give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video